Hi everybody, I'm Jim Johnstone. I'm going to review for you today the Gen Y Hitch Boss uh, Torsion Flex Hitch. It's model GH2303. It's got an 1100 pound tongue weight uh, maximum and a 10,000 pound trailer tow maximum. And spill it out. Let's see what we got. Pretty well packed. So here we go. This is the uh, Equalizer Gen Y Hit. Okay, there's your uh, nameplate. It's a Gen Y Hit. It's uh, 10,000 pound towing capacity. My trailer max is 8,800. It's 1,100 pound tongue weight capacity. My trailer runs between 900 and 1,050 pounds, depending on how I've got it loaded, uh, how much propane is on board, and so forth and so on. This is the Gen Y hitch. It comes completely assembled. You get uh, the hitch. You get a uh, pin that allows you to uh, retain it within your receiver. Well, this dude is really heavy. It's over 100 pounds once you put your weight distribution uh, ball um, mount on there. And uh, it's just too heavy for me to lift up by myself and carry it around. So I've lashed up this uh, kind of carrier here, and those ropes are to keep it from falling forward. The Gen Y hitch has a 2.5 inch uh, shank that goes into my receiver. And each one of these uh, pivot points it's got a square tube. Inside that square tube are four round rubber um, springs. And then a smaller square tube goes inside that. Each one of these joints here has a zerk fitting on it. And they ask you to lubricate it about every 1,000 miles. I mentioned the hitch is heavy. It is well over 100 pounds. It's too heavy for me to lift up by myself. So I've devised this uh, scheme here, and you can see I get it up into uh, the receiver, and then I can pick it up and shove it in, not very easily. All right, I'm going to pick this up and hold it. And we're right at 46.6 pounds for that. I'm going to put this back in the holder. Well, as you can see, my truck sits up pretty high off the ground, so I had to order the 9.5 inch uh, drop shank. I'm using it on, I think, the third hole from the bottom there with my uh, equalizer hitch receiver to get the hitch height that I want. I've also added red reflective tape to three sides of the uh, Gen Y Boss hitch so that people can see it. I don't, I don't want to run into it. I don't want other people to run into it. And I could just see myself barking my shins against that thing if I didn't know it was there and came racing around the truck. Let's take a look and see how far the uh, ball sticks out behind the receiver. You can see it's about 16 inches to the center of the ball behind that receiver. That's about 5 inches longer than where this ball would normally stick out with a regular um, receiver hitch, the one I used before. Right now I've got it set up to around 24 and a half inch uh, tall above the ground, and uh, that's about where I need it to be for my Airstream. The hitch comes with its own latching pin, but I'm choosing to use this pin. It has a cylinder lock. It slides in, and, uh, and that won't come off. These O-rings are to adjust the back and forth slot in this pin. Now right here on the hitch, you can see it's got a little gauge 
when you're all hitched up and you've got your trailer on the ball, you want this uh, line to be pointed somewhere in the middle of this green zone here. Okay, you can see my hat is tilted back a little bit. Let's see if the chains can reach. And we are really tight there. Maybe another uh, five lengths. Okay, I had to uh, lengthen my chains. I went over to Home Depot where you can buy chains by the foot. I got these chains. Um, they're about two and a half feet long. That's roughly five lengths longer than the chains that I had there. And that's to clear the uh, extra length of the Gen Y hitch here that brings the tongue back. Now I can drop my tailgate down without worrying about uh, hitting the jack. So what we want to know is how does it perform when it's on the road? So the first thing I did was loaded up the truck trailer and took everything off to the cat scales to weigh all of the axles and see how much weight we had in total and what my tongue weight was. What I found was with the old hitch I got the best ride when my truck tire pressures were set to 62 pounds per square inch and my trailer tires were set to 60 pounds per square inch. I also used six washers in my equalizer hitch to get the right, right weight transfer but I decided to drop that back to five to get a little smoother ride in the trailer. After I got hitched up I went to the cat scales again. I've got now uh, 7,000 pounds of trailer behind me. I've got a tongue weight of 990 pounds just under the 1100 pound maximum and my total gross cargo weight is 16,720 pounds. So what was the ride like? Well, these are my impressions. I didn't have any instrumentation to measure the acceleration forces or the vibration, but it felt really good on the smooth roads. It felt a lot better than just with the old weight distribution hitch alone. I got some improvement over expansion joint uh, concrete type interstates and got really no improvement over large undulations in the road. If it was going to make you jump up and down, uh, you're still going to jump up and down. Also, it doesn't improve the ride of a rough riding truck at all. Well, here's what I like and didn't like about the hitch. It did give me a slight improvement in ride, but it was only a slight improvement. I've talked to other people with the airbag style hitches like AirSafe, and they all claim they got a really great improvement in the ride. I didn't see that with the Gen Y. Of course, my truck rides a lot rougher. Uh, anyway, it's a 4x4 with a diesel engine in it. It's pretty heavy, and uh, it's a rough riding truck. I like the tailgate clearance. I like that this product is well made, and it's made in the USA. It's expensive. It costs $700, although that's a lot cheaper than some of the airbag hitches that you see out there. It also uh, cost me another $25 to buy some new chains. It's so heavy I can't really lift it by myself. You saw I had to create a sort of a dolly to carry it around and to get it in and out of my truck. It extends the length of my truck and since I can't lift it out when I'm at the campsite and unhitched, it has to stay in there and uh, it's. I'm afraid somebody's going to run into it or I'm going to run into somebody with it as it extends the length of my truck. And then it's really only a slight uh, ride improvement. I'm going to keep uh, testing with different tire pressures and uh, different techniques to see if I can't get some better improvement out of this. So to wrap things up, it can really isolate the trailer movement from that of your truck. And if you've got already a pretty good riding truck without a trailer, I'm sure you're going to get a great ride with this hitch. It's not really going to help your truck ride smoother, though, if you're truck is riding rough now when you're not towing. It's a lot less expensive than the airbag style hitches and I like that, but both of them are heavy and do extend out past the end of your tailgate and you're going to have to leave them in when you unhitch because they're a little bit too heavy to take off by yourself.
Those are my impressions of the Gen Y Boss Torsion Flex hitch on my truck with my trailer. Your results may be different, and if you got different results, I'd like to see about them in the comments. Maybe you learned something that I didn't know that'll make my ride a little bit smoother down the road. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.